Here we go, some beautiful Toyotas up there on the start line, Ian. Yeah, I mean, they're too beautiful. Too beautiful to be thrown around a concrete world circuit in Riga. But nevertheless, they're going to do it, and they've been doing it for years and years now. Connor Shanahan sits on the line in the lead position to take on Yves Meyer from Switzerland. Isn't that incredible? That beautiful A90 Supra. I love it in the yellow, Dave. I, I mean, and I would never buy a yellow car. Yeah, but i got to say, Yves Meyer looking very strong every round, getting better and better. Shanahan, though, needs to, you know, he needs to, he needs a podium. He wants to, yeah. to start, you know, resurging here at this championship. Hasn't gone his way for three rounds and Meyer will say if I take their last year's champion well I'm back in business so a lot on the line here as they head to that first corner yeah through the gear Shanahan picks that car to angle and Eves Meyer struggles to put that car on angle the grip the pace from Shanahan is absolutely mad right now as he puts the car right where he needs it to be Eves Meyer shortcutting the circuit massively to make a dive down there and outside zone fire through the smoke goes Meyer up to the wall goes Shanahan now Eves Meyer into the pocket into the zone dives up into the door and gives Shanahan a little fight across the line well, I gotta say, you know, a moment there, Eve backed off, but he came back right swing yeah. at the end. Connor Shannon, I think that was a very calculated run, very a sweet run. He, he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't go anything crazy. He knew he just put a solid lead run on the board. They've had turbo issues, and they put four turbos on this car this weekend. Yeah, incredible. But for me, it's just the only thing I can see is Meyer here. He, he gets caught for pace with Shannon a little bit, and he has to go on very shallow angles through the first corner just to stay in the fight. And while he is trying to do that for proximity, he doesn't get the proximity until very late in the run. So he's going to get you know marked down for this kind of cutting of the track at this point. However, when he does catch up to Shannon, beautiful run from there for Meyer. This transition for me was great. Transition back, eyed up his opponent, got into the pocket, and made it work. Yeah, and, and you know, looking back, uh, he, yeah, he was out of outside zone one, he, he shortcut probably outside zone two as well, but, you know, looking at it from there, from the drone shots, he didn't shortcut too bad. No. It wasn't like he was driving through the track to, to make a dive. Yeah, it was scrappy and Shanahan had the pace, but now Shanahan has to battle, uh, uh, you know, with himself to try not to overdrive that GT86 against Eve Meyer, who hasn't really made a move in the championship yet. No, but this could be a big moment for Eve Meyer and the Drift Force team as they come off the line. They've got the 2023 champion hunting them down as Shanahan not letting Meyer away here in the first corner. No, look at that big weight transfer for Eve Meyer and Shanahan. Tucks up onto the back bumper, but Eve Meyer was out of the outside zone. Makes the car across the circuit, now starts to get into formation. Shanahan takes the opportunity. Back on that qualifying line goes Meyer, and Shanahan keeps his distance for the moment. A little waver and a wobble there from Meyer as he gets himself into the outside zone. Shanahan shallows up the angle, now starts to apply the pressure. Very clever driving from Connor Shanahan there. You can tell he didn't overcommit at any point on no. the track. He was waiting to see what Meyer would do. And Meyer, if he'd pulled out a 90-plus lead run, might have had much more of an advantage on Shanahan than if Shanahan played it safe. It was a dangerous game. But Meyer does make mistakes in that lead position, which Shanahan would have got caught up in if he didn't hold that lead. And I've got to say, the proximity at the start was pretty good, but Meyer drops out of the outer zone pretty heavily here. So he's on the wrong line through that first corner, and Shanahan kind of has to go on the inside of the track. From there, Meyer starts to tidy it up. Shannon getting on the inside. So insane to watch these cars at this speed that close <laughs> together. It's nuts. And Shanahan's blind to most of this. Look at it. He can't even see where he is. Transitions through the smoke. It's just incredible. And right here, you can see Shannon just backs off. Meyer has a little wobble, and Shannon doesn't get the proximity straight away. Has to kind of come off the throttle to get a little bit more grip in the car to get up onto the door. Does by the end. Nothing spectacular from Connor Shanahan, but probably no mistakes either. And I believe think I think he did exactly what I said. He doesn't have to do it. He didn't overdrive the car. He didn't push too hard. He kept 20% back. I think he, he was thinking, you know, I'll, yeah. give it, I'll give it as much as I need to. Yeah. And if we go one more time, I can always push on again. Meyer, I think that's probably the best two runs on a battle he's done this year. Phenomenal progress from the Swiss driver. He's getting better and better and better. And that's what it's all about. It's all about progress. Let's see which way the judges go. And it's going to be Connor Shannon going through to the top 16. I don't think any anybody watching on would be surprised by that. Very calculated, very safe, no mistake. Well, we have no time to rest. <laughs> I was just going to say, no, we're going to no. take a moment there to. We have no time to talk because Connor Shannon's going up against Adam Zalewski. Two GT86s, two previous Driftmasters championships in their locker. Yep. Poland versus Ireland, and both drivers wanting their first podium of the year. This one is going to be fireworks. Yeah, look at the run up. There's Zalewski. He's going to take on this one. He knows Shanahan's fast. He's not going to take any risks. Slams the door closed. And we're going to take a look. Look how far back he is. He's not. He's going to go for this so early, Zalewski. That, um, let's see how it works out. He, I've never seen anyone stagger back this far on a start, but he's going for it. Look at this. Doesn't have to slow with the chicane. And he's lost a little bit of ground on Shanahan here. Has he timed it right? I don't know if he's timed it right or not, but it means he's gone back up, but that's for sure. Shanahan flies in. Zalewski hunts him down. They go for the transition. Zalewski through the smoke. Looks for the front wheel. Two GT86s almost identical equipment. Oh my god! Zalewski takes 
takes the front bumper clean off the car. Super aggressive. Now dives wheel to wheel. Jumps onto the door of Connor Shanahan as they put bumper to bumper on the wall. Oh my goodness. And Shanahan felt it. He knew how close he was. Look at the eyes of Connor Shanahan. He says, what the hell was that? Zalewski came wow. out there to win that battle. He came out there to win it on the first run in the chase run. And I'll tell you one thing for a fact, this could be one of the greatest and scariest transitions I've ever seen. Watch this. Watch. Look at this. No messing around. A little wobble from Zalewski. Look how early he goes. Boom! He went so early. And I don't think it affects Shanahan that much. No, it doesn't. It's just a rub. It takes the, it takes the middle part of the bumper off Zalewski's car. But Zalewski knows how good Shanahan is. And look at the proximity as he takes it around the circuit. We had a very scrappy top 32, but the top 16 has kicked off in style. They've all learned. They've all learned from everyone else's mistakes. They've watched the, the broadcast. They've looked at where everyone's going wrong. And did Zalewski make that right move? Transition early. Position yourself I better. think he did. I think he knows how good Connor Shanahan is. He knew that, you know, a, a soft chase run wasn't going to be enough. That was exceptional. Shanahan's under big pressure now. Big pressure. Because you know Connor Shanahan likes that calculated drive, likes that smooth drive, likes to not put himself in an uncomfortable position. He's got to go to it. Now look at Zalewski's car. He's clean, taken the middle of the bumper the off of the bumper. and left both sides. That's how close he was to Connor Shanahan. I've never seen anything like that before. That's incredible. Have you ever seen that? That is incredible. The middle of the bumper gone and the two sides still there. Never seen anything quite like that. Connor Shannon's going to have to go for it. He's going to have to go to an uncomfortable level. He's now staggered himself back like the Zalewski. He's been told by his spotter, Connor. Zalewski's put in a phenomenal chase run. You're going to have to do something special or it's all over this weekend and both Shannon's are out of competition. Connor's got to go deep and especially for the 2023 champion who wants a little bit of luck on his side. He's not going to get it here. He's going to have to go out there and earn it. Yeah, Martin, our Starline Marshal trying to remove the, re the remnants of that front bumper to make sure it doesn't get lodged in the front wheels. And Zalewski seems to have pulled the hardest zip tires known to man on the front end of that car. Titanium zip Titanium tires. Titanium zip tires holding that car together. There we go. Last of the cable tires gone. Just making sure everything is okay on the car. Zalewski won't care less about that front bumper after that chase run. Right? I imagine car. his spotter was screaming down the radio saying, that's how you do it, Adam. That's how you do it. But now he's got to do a lead run. He's got to stay safe and do a solid lead run. Shanahan, this is all in his court now. If he is not on the door through this run, it's game over. He needs to go to that uncomfortable place. And, and we know that Connor doesn't drive like Jack. He doesn't drive with that wild style, that extra 10%. But now he needs to. He needs to take a little bit out of that locker and find it. We come off the line. Zalewski to lead in. Connor Shanahan through the gears. Show goes Shanahan, he looks for him, he goes up to the back bumper even earlier, now they come into outside zone one, but Shanahan carries more angle, they transition down into two, and Shanahan is still glued to the side of Zalewski, he goes for the transition, Shanahan keeps it clean this time, they look for the wall, they make it, oh, and Shanahan nearly hits him, as he now shortcuts, makes a dive, looks for the front wheel, jumps up onto the door of Zalewski. That's unbelievable driving from Connor Shanahan and Adam Zalewski, that's absolutely top drawer. We're in the top 16, second battle in, and we've already got, I think, a highlight reel event from this. That is unbelievable. It's done. It, it, it we might, get, we it, might get the credits screen for drifting after that. They might say, can't. thanks for playing, you've completed the you've game. Completed it. I would not want to be a judge right now. Moments from both drivers were exceptional. How do you get better than you that? You couldn't even see Connor Shannon on the first corner, he was that close. I'm going to take a look now to see if there was any mistakes in that, Dave. It was textbook. Zalewski missing that inner zone. That's the only thing I can see in the lead run. Misses the inner zone. Shanahan not having as much proximity here. So I wonder if it came lead to lead. Is Shanahan's lead better? But to me, Zalewski's chase is better. So that, it doesn't make any difference. I would say Zalewski better in the chase, Shanahan better in the lead. That's yeah. my first feeling towards it. Now, whatever way the judges weigh it, are they going to weigh more on the lead or the chase? Now, a lot of times they'll say, can't have a good chase without a good lead, but it's going to be very tight here. Who's going to go through to our top eight? Nobody's going through because it's a one more time. Smiles all around. And I don't know what we have to watch for them to go closer. This is where we get into dangerous territory. Well, Zalewski pulled to the line and he put the car in reverse and went further back than he did before. So that means that Adam Zalewski is going to go closer and faster into that first outside zone than he did on the first run. There is no closer. There is closer. There is closer. I don't for, know. For, I don't for know. Adam Zalewski said, I can be closer touching is, doors. Closer here. is contact. That's where we're at with these two now. I think this is where we're going to come down to. I think this is going to boil down to one of these guys making a mistake. 
I am the hairs on my arm just stood up because if they replicate what happened the last time my goodness and they don't want to lose here these two guys believe they're better than the other driver that's a fact they're lovely young men behind the scenes but right now they want to win this and they think they can and they've got to throw all their cards on the table as they go through the gears into that first car look at Zalewski he initiates a four shot and look at the proximity Zalewski's car ripping panels off as he fires up I'm speechless. I'm speechless. That was taking it to another level again. Insane. That was taking it to another level again. Zalewski's initiation. Look at, this. Look at the initiation. Side by side. He almost hits Shannon at over 140k and then fires into the door. The car has fallen to pieces. Look at this. Oh! That's motorway speed. Just weaving into each other. And then firing it in. And Zalewski, I thought, when he hits... I think he hits the curb here. Watch. Maybe he misses it. Just touches the curb. And I thought he's in the smoke screen. Look at the windscreen. And so that, how is he seeing where he's going? No idea. He has to back off a little bit. And then the transition. Boom. He's back there again. This. I could watch this all month. All month. Just, just. I'm not sure those GT86s could take it. But I'll <laughs> tell you what. Zalewski. I thought he was going to be. Once he went near that curb. I thought it was over. And he's right back in it. Look at the proximity. Look, just leaves a little tire mark on the Red Bull logo. Oh, you gotta, you gotta say, this is incredible. If you're a drift fan right now and you're on the edge of your seat, welcome to me and Ian sitting on the edge of our seat ah. because this is what it's all about. Mono a mono, best versus best. Two previous champions in two similar chassis, throwing down on the most difficult track of the year, inches from each other and inches from disaster. Well, Zalewski doesn't pull to the line straight away. Shanahan ready to I think, to I think he's cool in the car. Yeah, I, I think, think he's Zalewski's, taking a moment. Yeah. Maybe he's having a talk with the spotter. Now, Connor Shannon's laser focused here. He knows. And I'm thinking if you're Connor Shanahan, he put in a phenomenal chase run the last time. What's he got to do now? There is maybe a moment on outer zone four where Zalewski lost some ground. There, 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 for me, there's two places. Outside zone one, he fell away a little bit. Yep. Incredible initiation, but I think he scared himself for a moment. I think if Shanahan can glue it to the door on outside zone one and then outside zone four be absolutely nailed to the door, I think that's going to seal the deal. Marston now doing a little bit of body work here. We saw that front fender almost leave the chat on the first run. Does he take off the fender? Does he put it on? Big decisions for Marston right now. Magic tape's out. The magic tape. He's going to tape it to something. He's not sure what he's taping it to. Who knows what, though? Who knows There's what? There's not much left to tape it. He says, close the door, I'll tape it to the door. <laughs> he's going to wrap that around the door. Yeah, there we go. Wrap it around the door, and then that'll... And then if the wing comes off, the door comes off too, and we can see Adam in full oh work. My full God. work. <laughs> You know, you do this for quite some time. We're, we're, we're veterans of the, you know, the announcing game here at this yep. point. And you, know, you think, surely, I've seen it all at this stage. No, no. But there's always more. Every round. There's always more. You try and write a rule book for this sport. There is not enough pages. There's not enough ink in any printer to write a rule book for this game. Because look at this. He's, he's basically in a birthday present at the moment. <laughs> he's been wrapped up that much. Here we go. Now, we're ready to go. Zalewski and Shannon. Shannon, he's had a little moment to have a think, and now he's got to go, and he's got to be there. This is going to be risky for both of these young men as they go into that first corner. Yeah, it certainly is, and look at this. Zalewski's going for a big speed. Shannon jumps onto the back bumper. He does get a little bit more proximity than what Zalewski had. They transition down outside zone two, and look at Shannon. He's closer than Zalewski on the outside zone. They fire across the track. Look for outside zone five. Zalewski has to left for break, and Shannon makes some avoiding. He's all oh. rotated. Zalewski over-rotated. I just watched it come and he went on a big angle and he couldn't hold it. I think Zalewski's over-rotated on the transition there. That just was my initial point. And I really thought the angle he was throwing, I was like, he's never going to hold that. And he just had to stall the car up to avoid the spin. Oh, it's so knife edge. They're pushing to a place where they've never pushed to before. Oh, I've never seen speed like that in Riga. In, never. The, in the many years we've come to this track, I've never seen anything like this. Shannon's going to look forward and say, I think Zalewski spun it. That's, no, yeah, he that's, knows, yeah, yeah, he knows. He and knows. Zalewski, 
I think we're, we're going to use the, <laughs> I'm going to talk over the language of Adam yeah, Zalewski yeah, yeah. there. But I'll tell you one thing. Just watch this again. I just noticed it. Watch, this is really good from both. But watch the transition from Zalewski. And he handbrakes there as well, going into now that watch side the transition. Five. Just here, he goes on way too much angle here. As he transitions back, he's almost 90 degrees. Back end of the car is gone. There you go, 90 degrees. You can't get, yeah, you can't get around the corner at that angle. And, and he's off throttle. And he's off throttle, trying to avoid the spin, yeah. get some grip in the rear tires. So, look, you, you, someone was bound to fall off the, the amusement park ride at some point here, and it, it turns out that it's Adam Zalewski. But, oh, that first run. And I feel sorry for Adam Zalewski because he's going to go out here after putting in one of the chase runs of the day. Twice. Twice. Oh, there you have it. Going through to the top eight is. Connor Shanahan gets the win. A little bit of luck coming Connor Shanahan's way. He hasn't had much of it this year, no, to be no. honest. But uh, he goes through to the top eight. Waves to the fans. I'm very happy to be back in business. And again, they've put four turbos on this car. They've had two engine fires, and here he's in the top eight. So you get, it's the Bikernecki circuit. It is fast, it is scary, and it's unpredictable. And right now, we have an upset all across the board. The Irish coming through strong as five go into the top eight. However, that's only half the story, as a lot of the Irish have narrowly got to that top eight. As Connor Shannon, 2023 champion, goes up against good friend and wild card this weekend, Tomas Kiley. And I'll tell you what, Tomas Kiley's been taking some names. I mean, he sure has been taking some names, Dave, and he looks unstoppable. He's got a nice lead line. Can he throw it down against a man who was leading this championship this time this last year? Off the line goes Connor Shanahan, fires that GT86 across the circuit, but look at Tomas Kiley down on the inside. Now he starts to lose some ground. Gains it back again as they go for the transition. Kiley up there on the inside. As Shanahan performs an absolutely incredible lead line. It's a little shallow, though, on the outside zone. Goes to the curb, goes for the transition back. The back end of Shanahan's car flexes. As Kylie puts the bumper to bumper, he goes for the door and Kylie pushes Shanahan across the line. Oh, that transition from Tomas Kylie in towards the wall was just. I mean, if we had seen one transition like that three years ago, we'd have gone home saying, what an amazing oh, event. We're seeing been. it run after run right now. I think you're right in your in your live analysis. I think Kylie's cutting the course a little bit to stay with Shanahan. And Shanahan's de uh, shallow there. Yeah. Now watch this, as they come through here, this for me, the last transition was just, oh, you, Kylie definitely hit him, but not enough to upset Shanahan. This, watch this from Kylie, just stays in it. Come on, come on. He didn't even break the bumper. No, nope. flexed it. That is ridiculous. But he's I mean, almost I mean, overtaken Where, where Shanahan, do we though? go from here in drifting if this is the kind of runs we're seeing? This is the best of the best. And Kylie, he's a wild card. He has nothing to lose. No championship on the line. Doesn't have to worry about any of that. Look at the paint marks on the front of Tomas <laughs> Kylie's car where he scraped the back end. And I'll tell you what, Connor Shannon's going to have really am at having an easy day here. Everybody I'm going up against is on it. Now Connor Shannon's got to go up a notch again. Kylie does leave some room for error. Does leave a little gap there that Shannon can fill if he's perfect, if he's on it. And a top four could be there for Connor Shannon. His first of the year, but he's got to get the job done here. He has got to get the job done here, and he goes for a nice initiation. And Kylie starts to pull away from Shannon. They go wide on the outside zone as Kylie flicks the car across the circuit. Now Shannon starts to make his move up on the inside. Kylie on a nicer lead line. Shanahan goes for it. Oh, but it's messy from both of them on the transition. How did they even make that work into the wall? And Shanahan and Kylie stay in it. As Shanahan's closer than Kylie, the back end buried in the wall. Oh, forget about it. Forget about it. Connor Shanahan has no right to come out of that curve like that at all. Not, we have never witnessed someone go in there and not spin like that. He went up a foot in the air, yep. and then he came back in the door. Come on. Come on, it's not even physics anymore. How did he get away with that? I, I need to see it from another angle. I have to but see But how it. did he go up on the curve, and then all of a sudden he's back on the door? But it was a mistake. I, th I think Shanahan might think he's not got this. I have no idea. I mean, I, I, neither of them know. No. Neither of them Let's know. Let's have a look at it again. This is phenomenal proxy. I mean, you got to say Kylie's lead run here is excellent. Look at the transition from Shannon there. It's ridiculous. And as they come, the drone can't keep with them going yeah. so fast. Now Kylie transitions here. This is where Shannon gets it wrong. He transitions, gets a little understeer. Watch the front wheels. Goes too wide. Goes up on the curb. And I think, oh, it's all over. And then, boom, he's back on the door again. Oh, I... Lead line. Okay, let's have a look at Kylie. 
Okay, he's decelerating in outer zone five. And he's on the wrong line coming to outer zone five. Okay. So does Connor Shannon's mistake come from Kylie being on the wrong line? That's the question. But we're about to find out. Judges have had a good look at it. Going through to the top four is Connor Shannon gets the win and you can see what it means to him. And I'll tell you what, looking at it on the replay again, it told another story, didn't it, Ian? Because Kylie's line from outer zone four to five wasn't good, and that's no. what caused the issue with Shanahan there. James Dean on either sides. The King of Riga crown is also on the line. The only one of the four that's ever worn it is James Dean. The other three, well, they've had to play the Prince. And here we go. Dwayne McKeever in the lead position. Higher qualifier ahead of Connor Shannon. McKeever and Shannon. And Shannon comes in as the defending champion. McKeever wants to be the champion. Well, in order to be the best, you've got to beat the best. And that's what McKeever's got to do now. He's got to take down Connor Shannon. But Connor Shannon has had a, a rotten year by his standards. He wants to be King of Riga. He wants to get back up on the podium. And here we go. There we go. Look at this. Shannon strong to the back bumper at 186. And Dwayne McKeever as he fires into that first outside zone. No separation this time. This was ridiculous driving. McKeever took the punt and just said, that's ah, grand, let's go. Didn't, I mean, there was a moment there where Dwayne McKeever could have spun that car. Easily. And easily won this battle and he stayed in it honest. Because that was a heavy hit from Shannon. It was a real punt, a real oh. punt. The crowd are going bananas, we're going bananas. I might even need a banana at the end of this for a bit of energy because I'll tell you what, we have poured our souls into this this weekend from fans to drivers to teams, all in the name of bettering the sport. And boy, are these guys delivering. Look at this, beautiful stuff from Shanahan in the chase. Incredible lead line from Dwayne McKeever as well. You got handed to him. That was so textbook. You know, and it, it was exactly what the judges want to see. Look at that, bam, takes the back bumper off. It's just a little rub. And then here for me, McKeever comes down, handbrakes. Shanahan just gives him a little nudge. But it's where he nudges him. He nudges him in the middle of the transition. So it could have gone so wrong, but McKeever just adapted and went and they're still in it. And this is in the balance. Now McKeever is going to be asked a big question here. Big question. Can you go closer? Can you go closer? Because Dwayne McKeever is a great lead driver and he's a great competitor, but he's got to go all out now. He's got to try and take down the 2023 champion. McKeever's not stepped on the top step of the podium this year. And if he has to, he's got to go for sure. On the inside goes McKeever. Dropping out of the zone a little bit, but he stays on the back. Of a big transition. Fire through the center of the section faster than anybody. So McKeever gets it. Oh, McKeever's in the wall. McKeever's in the wall wrong in an instant for the driver from Northern Ireland. Shannon's going to see that dead square through the windscreen now. McKeever buried in the wall and he's going to go over and check on his fellow countrymen because that was a big hit. And he just sits there, dejected of course. Get another angle of it here. Yeah, he just gets pinched on the inside, just stays in it too long. Yeah. Oh. Big hit from McKeever. And that rear wheel is completely yeah. broken off. That said, the momentum looked to have spread around that 180, so yeah. maybe no major chassis damage. But Connor Shannon, I mean, he's been through the wars today, Connor Shannon, and it looks like he could very well go to the final. And it is a official. Connor Shannon is a guaranteed podium in Riga as he gets back to business after a poor first three rounds by his standard. Well, here we are. 48 drivers started this epic event. Two remain, and both are previous European champions. One, the current and reigning 2023 champion in Connor Shannon. He goes up against his neighbor, the winningest and most successful driver in the history of drifting. And now Dean can smell another championship if he gets the points here. Dean will be all smiles with Connor Shanahan, but I'll tell you what, they know how good each other are. They know the talent that's sitting beside their door right now. And all it takes is two runs. Who will be your 2024 King of Riga? Here we go. Dean to lead out Shanahan as they fire through. Look at this, Dean on it, absolutely glued to the outside line. But Shanahan so far the inside. You can barely see that GT6. Now Shanahan transitions, puts it into the pocket. Dean on a flyer of a lead line. Dials it in for outside zone five. Ridiculous driving. 
That is absolutely ridiculous. Perfect in the lead, perfect, perfect in, in the, the chase. chase. Oh, there are no words for how good this sport has got over the years. And these two pioneers of it are now showing why you sit there and wait for these finals because sometimes they don't deliver, but boy, is this one delivering. Shannon through the kitchen sink at Dean on that first corner. You couldn't even see Shanahan on the transition at one point. Oh, and he tagged the back end of Dean's car on the transition. You couldn't even see him. He was that close. Dean's got that, that line dialed. They fired through and Shanahan was just timing those transitions absolutely perfectly. This for me, look at it. A little I mean, stall up from Shanahan, but then he was back into it. And he well, was I think it's the, the part of the track that everyone's thrown it away. Yeah. So it's worth the little stall up if you can get it back on the door, and he did. Oh, and he's just flirting with the side of Dean's car. Look at that, big clutch kicks on and off the throttle, dials on the angle, textbook. What does Dean do now? And I'm telling you right now, a safe, calculated James Dean run is not going to win this. No, he isn't. This is going to have to be everything he's got. As Shannon comes off the line, it's the last run of the weekend. Shannon's laser focus. Dean is coming for blood as they fire in at 100. Again, Dean is on the inside of the track, but he's got proximity. This is where it could all unravel as Shannon goes to the wide side of the track. Dean is up on the curb. Shannon puts big angle on Dean. Oh, oh barely holds on to it. Dean makes a big error, but he stays in. How are they both going at this point? It doesn't even make physical sense in their door to door. event with the craziness that we started oh my goodness and that's the first time we've seen James Dean make a mistake all weekend that first corner he went very shallow behind very Shannon. Very shallow. And then it slingshotted him. It carried the angle and slingshotted him. That momentum put him way on the wrong position. I can't wait to see the replay of this. And here we go. Shanahan is glued to the outside zone. The transition from Dean was textbook, but he was out of that zone. And now look at the line he takes. Watch as Dean comes through. Shanahan is absolutely flying, but look at Dean, he has to carry more angle. He's gonna make contact with I Shanahan. Think, I think he hits the curb. I think the rear wheel just touches it the does. curb. Yeah, he has to dial on the angle because otherwise he's gonna hit Connor. That's the problem. But he knows he's coming in so hot. He's like, ah, I've got to get out of it. He's up on the curb. Down he comes, and there we go. That opens the door for Shanahan. He starts to pull away. Edge of your seat stuff. Look at that. Yeah, look at yeah, Dean. Dean way is. up on the curb, and that's the mistake. Is it enough to cost him the final? If, and is it enough to put Connor Shanahan back on the top step of the podium? And if Connor Shanahan wins this, it means it'll be a Shanahan, Shanahan, King of Riga, King of Riga, year by year. But even if he doesn't win, James Dean will still have done 13, 13 podiums, podiums in a row. So is there a winner? Is there a loser? Who knows? I mean, there's definitely going to be a winner and a loser, but oh, yeah. in the grand scheme of things, Dean has got the championship points. Connor Shannon gets back on form, which he said he's been struggling to do this year. But he's definitely found his form today. And look what it means to Connor Shanahan in the car. Here we go. Decision starts to drop in. Both guys smiling. Yeah, big smiles guys all around. I think Dean's done what he wanted to do. It was get the championship points and get himself that 13th podium in a row. And Connor Shannon said he hasn't been able to prove himself in Europe this year. Well, as he proved himself today, will Jack Shannon take it last year and Connor Shannon take it this year? We don't know, but we're leaning that way because we've watched what you guys watched and we're, yeah. we're feeling it here in the tower that that might be the way it goes. He's on a straight car in the paddock right now after this weekend. And the 2024 King of Riga is... Yeah. Connor Shannon! Connor Shannon is 2024 King of Riga. After a disastrous three rounds defending his championship, he's back on top step at the podium, and the championship fight is blown wide open.